More than half of Australians use a mortgage broker to arrange their home loan. But one of the most contentious recommendations from the Banking Royal Commission will change how borrowers pay for the service. Daniel Ziffer reports. More than once, Melina Stanford's mortgage broker has helped put a roof over the family's head. The Illawarra resident enjoys the convenience. My husband works away in the city a lot and we just don't have the time to go and, you know, talk to the banks ourselves. Industry wide, not But the mortgage broking industry is in a world of hain pain, with recommendations from the Royal Commission's final report threatening to tear up its financial model. They're fighting back. As competition and choice decline, bank power and the risk of higher interest rates will increase. We were completely blindsided by the fact that, yes, we write 59% of the business, but we represent less than 1% of all complaints about banking and finance. Most brokers are paid an upfront commission by the bank that finances the loan. There's also an ongoing fee, called a trail commission, over the life of the loan. Trail commissions, to put it bluntly, are money for nothing. If the government adopts all of Commissioner Haynes' recommendations, borrowers will have to pay an upfront fee of around $2,000 when they secure a mortgage, whether it's through a broker or directly with a bank. The banks themselves have been rewarded for their bad behaviour. Consumer advocates don't buy it. Over the lifetime, through upfront and trail commissions, a broker gets paid around $6,000. When you have a payment, a commission payment, it's naive to think it doesn't influence the advice. Research from regulator ASIC and secret Commonwealth Bank documents revealed at the Royal Commission show loans from brokers are larger, longer and riskier. Hello, buddy. Melina Stanford would use a broker again, but she thinks many will be scared off. I think it would be tough on them to keep their customers if they start charging a large upfront front fee. The recommendations should make payments clearer and cheaper for millions but could end up concentrating even more power in the hands of the big banks. Daniel Ziffer, ABC News.